foods for fun. So I think all of you know me. I'm Sophie Alexander. I'm the lead practitioner here at the Nutritional Wellness Center. And I call myself a natural health practitioner. You know, so my goal is to help people get healthier and happier without the use of unnecessary drugs or surgery. And um, I'm here to talk to you tonight about the purification program because it's a part of my um, my health story and my health journey has had a lot to do with detox actually and I work with clients a lot on detoxification and so I've found that the standard process of the purification program has really has played a role in that and has, is a helpful helpful tool um, so you know my own health story is you know is at a pretty young age I started dealing with digestive issues and stomach issues a lot of gas a lot of bloating um, and I found that doing this work and like working on my liver actually made a huge difference in, in clearing up that piece for me. Um, and and so that's why, I think, backing up a second, you know, when I had my very first ever appointment here at the Nutritional Wellness Center, it was with when Tara, the owner, was still practicing. And, um, and I think the first thing she ever found on me was mercury. You know, it was like toxicity issues, and she was really shocked by that because I like, didn't have any fillings. You know, I was like 28, had never actually ever even had a cavity. Um, and it just really proved to her, you know, like how much these things are environmental, like how they're they're around us, like and and how that was playing a role in my case and my health. Um, and I didn't, you know, didn't even have any idea about it. And so, you know, I've been doing this work now for eight years, and it's had ebbs and flows in terms of <laughs> detoxification cycles. I was sharing earlier that I first did the purification program as an experiment, probably about six years ago just wanting to kind of try it out and knowing that I was going to be doing this work and wanting to be able to coach people and educate about it and have experienced it myself. And that was its own, um, you know, I remember it being kind of hard <laughs> and like not really knowing what to eat and being really hungry. Um, and then due to having had two children in between and this program not being um, indicated for if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, I hadn't done it in quite a while. And then I just finished it up about a week ago, you know, and so going through it, for a second time and being in a different place in my health, you know, being that much further along, that many more years of um, a certain diet and supplements, like it was a really, it was a different experience. Number one, it was not as much of a change from how I currently eat um, compared to how it used to be. Um, but it just kind of, it just took things to another level. So I really, um, I really found I was, yeah, I was brighter, more energetic surprisingly satisfied by foods not and really found that it helped with cravings you know I'm share with my clients a lot like you know I've been doing this work for a long time but I still love chocolate you know what I mean and it like it can can at times like build up enough that it starts to like rule you you know and you don't quite recognize that till as those things are gone um, and so I think that was my biggest takeaway like I hadn't realized that a bit of bloating had started to creep back in I kind of hadn't realized cravings had started to creep back in until they were gone. So, so I'm excited to share it as a tool. It's definitely um, it's definitely a program that I, I use clinically in a couple of ways. So I use it if when doing the nutrition response testing, um, some of liver just keeps showing up, you know, um, meaning um, I think you're the only one here who's not a client, so like if I, I'll, it's totally fine. Just I'll try not to talk in ways that only a client would understand. But I just mean that when I'm doing the nutrition response testing technique and I'm touching on the body and I'm picking up on areas that are under stress, you know, if I'm putting my pressure on the liver and the liver is showing up as being under stress, then that's an indication to me um, that that organ system is not doing well. And if that happens like repeatedly for a person or no matter what they're doing with other dietary changes or with other supplementation, it's just not really getting on track, then I'll indicate that they, they do the purification. Um, have a client I just saw this evening who just finished up the purification program who um, had been working a lot with reducing grains in his diet, reducing pasteurized dairy in his diet, and um, allergies were a big symptom for him, and allergies are tied a lot to the, the liver health, so liver was showing up for him again and again and again. And while he'd reached a certain plateau with his changes with his allergies, it was only until he did the purification that the allergies cleared up completely. Mm -hmm. And he was like amazed. It had been driving him nuts that he was like, I go to my kitchen every morning and I stand by the sink and I get sniffly. Like, what's wrong? You know, and he was thinking it was something in his home or, and how wild was it for him to realize that it was actually something going on in him, like of how his, um, his body was responding and how it was getting irritated. 
Um, so, yeah, so definitely use a purification program that way. Like, yep, you need to help your liver more. It's not getting where it needs to go. Um, and then, the, and that can tie into um, clinically seeing like that hormone, hormones are just not balancing. You know, the liver plays a really important role of converting certain hormones, particularly thyroid hormones. So, like, if someone's working, working on their hormone balance and um, it's not going where it's supposed to, purification could be indicated. Someone's digestive system is still not quite getting where it needs to be, bloating or gas or um, things like that. I'll talk more in a bit, like how the purification helps to work on those things, but it can be a whole um, broad spectrum digestive repair as well. Um, and then troubleshooting, if you know there's stubborn weight loss or you're kind of just hitting a plateau, feel like you need to change it up or some people do really well with gradient changes in their um, diet, right? And just bit by bit, they're pulling things out. And other people are like, nope, I just need to go 100%. And like, I need to pull everything out and then I can reevaluate about what the baseline is. So we definitely use it that way as well. Um, and, and I was gonna say, we're a small group. Please feel free to just jump in with questions at any point if you do. But you know, so yes, yeah, so the big thing is I don't think a lot of people realize, maybe you do, because um, you know, you're familiar with us and kind of the education we work that we do, but um, just realize what a compromised world that we live in, like how many toxicities we're exposed to on a regular basis, you know, through personal care products, through what's in our air, through what's in our water. Um, and, uh, you know, if yeah, if, through, if you take medications or if you, um, yeah, yeah, just what you can breathe in <laughs> around here. And so it is a regular thing that I see with people as an underlying reason for why their health is not optimal or why they're struggling with certain health concerns. Um, and it can contribute a lot to people having food cravings or gaining weight, particularly around the midsection, not thinking clearly. Um, and yeah, they have, there's a long list of here, right? Just the amount of pesticides that are being sprayed, um, the, the surprising amount of heavy metals that can be hidden in those pesticides, as well as the chemical toxicities. And um, so purification, you know, our body works hard to do these things regularly on its own. You know, it has its own system of detoxification. Like we are um, designed well, but we get go overloaded. And then that's, and that's where then things start to shut down. And so that's why we had to fill out that, or, or start to fill out that questionnaire, just to kind of make you, make you reflect, like where are all these different sources of toxicity coming from? You know, are you someone who struggles with a fair bit of those? And if so, it would be an even more of a reason to consider doing this. Um, so the purification program, of course, it specifically supports the liver, which is what I was, I talk about a lot. I feel like liver is really a focus of mine. And the liver, of course, it filters toxins. It releases bile. It plays a big role in our um, digestive health. It's a major place where we metabolize our fat, our protein, our carbohydrates. It can, it works to make um, a lot of toxins harmless agents as well. But when it's bogged down, <clears throat> everything backs up. And I see it play a, a big role in allergies, um, and as well as skin health in terms of when things are backed up and how that shows in the body. So through this program, you're also gonna be supporting your kidneys. Kidneys are your big filtration system, removing excess fluid from the body. <coughs> they really regulate and release the right amount of your sodium and your phosphorus and potassium. So it's a, that's a really important, important balance. It supports the small intestines so that people, I, I often find <coughs> people doing the purification program um, long term, the body asks for less supplementation, it asks for less long term health, particularly digestive, because the small intestine is, is so aided by it. And it, like, it, what I say, it ups the ante, right? Um, but it re uh, repairs so that your nutrients can be absorbed better. And um, our intestines are our body's first barrier, right? It's, our, it's a layer of skin, it's an epithelial tissue. And um, it's the first barrier to when things enter the body. And so if we want to strengthen that so that then we um, more 
we don't struggle with that exposure as much, right? That barrier is actually keeping things out rather than having things absorbed into the bloodstream. And then of course we miss of supporting the large intestine as well. So your large intestine, yeah, it absorbs water, it absorbs electrolytes. Um, it's, it's all the good bugs, the balance of your good flora is happening in the large intestine. And those bacteria in that balance can be um, huge for overall gastrointestinal health, but there's more and more research of also how that affects mood and you know how it affects so many things because there are these serot all these serotonin receptors also in the gut lining. So it really is not just when they talk about it, like, oh, it's, it's a detox program and there are just like so many detox programs out there. It is really a program that um, works on whole systems repair and particularly digestive repair. And a lot of that has to do with how Standard Process has formulated the different products that are involved in it. So my next plan was to kind of go through first the products and then what do I eat? <laughs> so we'll start with that. Um, so the idea, well I guess I'll do a bit of a mixture actually because I can't talk with one without the other. Because the idea is it's 21 days and so that's three weeks and the, the, the length of that is designed because it's been determined that as humans, when we do something for three weeks, it helps to set new patterns. So you, kind of, you do it for that long, it becomes routine and it becomes something that you can maintain. Um, it's a very liver friendly um, supplement and uh, food plan. And so for the first week, you are a vegetarian on it for 11 days. You, don't, you can have broth, but you don't have any uh, meat protein. And so one of these protein powders is designed as your source of protein <coughs> for, the, that, for the whole 21 days, but it's, it's primary for that first week. And so there's, there's several options. The SP Complete, which is this one here, was the original one developed by Standard Process to do this program. It is a whey protein powder as, as, <coughs> as the protein base. And then it's built in, it has B vitamins, you know, it has Brussels sprouts, it has alfalfa, has sunflowers, you know, um, and it has some carrot root powder and red wine extract. So it's got a lot of, it's designed as a meal, basically, a meal replacement. And um, I think with more and more people having dairy sensitivities, and they also did develop a dairy free version where it's rice protein as the base. And then you can get, the, the, unfortunately, the dairy-free one, which I see test well a lot and people do well on, doesn't come flavored at all. You have to flavor it yourself with the shake. But the SP Complete comes in vanilla. And it also comes in chocolate, but you can't do chocolate on the purification. You can do chocolate after. <laughs> what a um, chip. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, and just because we do this all by testing people and seeing which products work well for them, there are some of us, myself included, who are sensitive bodies and really need very specific products. And um, I do not test well for any of these standard, like the SP Complete, the SP Complete Dairy Free, even this um, protein one, which I'll talk about in a minute. So I did the purification program using this, this product called Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides, uh, which is, uh, it's not really designed to be a protein powder. It is a collagen supplement, and collagen is um, derived from gelatin. So it's derived from the hides of grass-fed cows, and um, then the gelatin from that is further processed so that it is a tasteless, odorless powder. Um, it's really amazing for hair and for nails and for joints as a, a protein supplement. But it is, you know, two scoops of it is 18 grams of protein. So, you know, it's not that product is not a whole meal replacement with all the vegetables and the other aspects that Standard Process put into this to help balance blood sugar. They really did a lot of work of making the SP completes be um, d helping with digestive repair and uh, with blood sugar balancing. But I, f I found that I did fine on using that product to do the, to do the purification just because that was kind of my only option and I put my own um, vegetables and other fibers and things into it to make it into more of a complete meal. Uh, but I see I see a lot of people do really well with the dairy-free and with the SP Complete. If someone is an athlete or 
really hungry that first week or needing more protein, then they could add the collagen into that as an extra source of protein. Or there is a product from Standard Process, this one here, the Veggie Complete, which is a pea protein, pumpkin seed protein, and sesame seed protein. So the idea is that like, as your base product, you do the SP Complete Dairy Free or the SP Complete, and that's your baseline. Um, but just to understand what these other options are. And you've all got a sample of SP Complete Vanilla. You can take home if you want to try it. And that's designed, yeah, just to mix into water and be good to go. But you could add other things to it if you wanted to make it more exciting. If you're not doing all of this just on the side, could you do the collagen one for better hair and nails then? Just because? Yeah. Oh. Absolutely. I've, I've seen, I've been working with it more and more. And it's an awesome product. Yeah. I have seen people do really, yeah, yeah, do really, really well on it. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the main feedbacks I get is that people see improvement in their hair, in their nails. My nails are a lot thicker, a lot stronger yeah. from doing it regularly. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't the um, dairy one have more nutritional value as far as if because dairy and milk and stuff has more I mean, from raw raw milk, right? Doesn't have like vitamin D really in it. Right. All these yeah, yeah, but it's not. This is not raw milk. I mean, it's it's just oh. its way. Oh, okay. Um, I'm, really, I'm, not, I'm not familiar with what way is. It's kind of right. Yeah, the watery so stuff that's in cottage cheese. So I basically, I got yep, yep. When you've got milk and you separate the curds out, like so, you're, you're cheese making. You add um, rennet or vinegar or whatever, and the the um, the curds separate out, and the curds are what are made in cheese making then the whey is left. So uh, whey is a liquid. Right. They process it to make it into a powder. You know? <laughs> Eating your curds away. Yeah, yeah. And so it's, um, yeah. I went, In terms of the world of muscle testing, majority of people test for the dairy-free. I must right, admit, okay. I, I see that a lot. Um, just because of, um, yeah, issues with dairy and quality of dairy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's the first product, and and during that, <laughs> that first week, um, you will, you also you take a product called SP Cleanse, and so SP Cleanse has a lot of amazing nutrients in it of different um, specific unique whole food supplements and botanicals, and they're really designed um, this this stage that you do this for the first seven days. This is designed as your cleanup crew. So if you want to think of it is that this product is supporting your kidneys, your liver, your gallbladder, is supporting your own natural systems of toxin um, elimination and healthy bowel and elimination. But it's it's the crew that's going around and collecting everything up from all the different parts of your body and putting it all into the garbage bag, right? And then the idea is then phase two, phase two of detoxification, which is day eight through 21, where you do the SP green food. And this is an amazing um, product that's really, it's buckwheat, Brussels sprouts, kale, barley grass, and alfalfa. And it's your um, taking the trash out, right? Once you've get done this work of gathering everything up, you wanna make sure that it's actually getting taken out. And so what I find is like, um, you know, just before someone starts, I can get a, an accurate <laughs> dose on what they test for the SP cleanse. And then around as close to day eight as possible, I like to see people so that we can dose them for the, the green food. If you were just to buy this kit and do the standard process purification program, which a lot of people do, you know, there are a lot of folks who sell standard process and will just have groups that do the purification program, you know, you take much higher doses or potentially not as high of a dose as you need um, because it's just a, it's a set thing you know it's not custom to the individual that's what we what we do here so we do like to test all of it um, I did skip over that when you're making your shakes um, they recommend you know that you can do two to three shakes a day particularly that first week when you're not having any other source of protein you know um, can be hungry and um, you add into the shake what the product is called the whole food fiber and the whole food fiber is oat fiber, beet fiber, rice bran, carrot root fiber, sweet potato and apple pectin and having that in there is really basically 
guarantee that you are eliminating well and that everything that we're working on cleaning out is moving out of the body. Um, but I loved it this time in the sense of just how full I felt, you know, like how much it sustained me. I was really quite surprised, like through my um, history of working on myself through um, nutrition, I had a lot of trouble with blood sugar balancing. I used to not be able to go longer than two hours and it would be incredibly irritable before if I had gone too long without eating. So it was amazing to me that I would drink a shake at 7.45, 8 a.m. and then not eat lunch till 1.30 and like I was like, oh, it's lunchtime. Cool. You know, that was wild. That was wild to me. And that really shifted because I had been doing shakes with the collagen peptides before that, but I hadn't I didn't have the whole food fiber in there until now. Do you so. do that the whole time. Mm -hmm. It is recommended to do that the whole time. Does it use up the whole? I mean how much do you do you end up with some leftover? No, you, you pretty much you use go through the whole thing. Mm. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah, you do use a tablespoon per shake. It just ends up how, how many shakes you do. Okay. You know, on the first week, a lot of people like to do a shake for breakfast, a shake for lunch, and then something else for dinner. So you're using two tablespoons of it a day. And then once, oh, once you get to day 11, you are able to add back in your protein sources. And so then that gives you a bit more flexibility of options. Um, and a lot, of, a lot of people start going down to just one shake a day on that not not ever it just depends on your your style yeah um so that kind of that makes me move into what do you eat right so i think i find it's helpful with this to really focus on the positives of what you you eat because there's a lot of things you don't eat so you can eat as many vegetables as you want right and it's really encouraged and to um yeah, to stock your pantry, like have vegetables, explore some of the different recipes of how to cook vegetables because it is the baseline and when you're like looking for something to eat, it's great to just do even more of that. My husband did this, the, did the purification program with me this time and his major feedback for me about it was like how much he appreciated that it reminded him to get vegetables back into the forefront of his diet, that he'd, he'd, he'd kind of, you know, he thankfully is totally on board with um, with this program and this work, and um, has been doing it as long as I have. Um, but you know, he kind of got into convenience, or he, he just was he kind of defaulted into doing a lot of kefir and um, just on on the go, uh, and then all of a sudden he's back into yeah eating kale for breakfast, you know, and it it, it really he did tremendously on it. He's yeah he's lost over ten pounds, so he's. If he's feeling better. Um, so, all the vegetables you can eat. <laughs> they they recommend um, half raw, half cooked. But yes, please. He said it's not for a replacement. The, the shakes aren't a meal replacement. They absolutely can be. Oh. They absolutely can be. Or you can eat all the vegetables and have the shakes too. Yeah, so I'll give you an example, right? <laughs> so your the shake does have some vegetables in it, right? Yeah, and so. A really simple shake recipe would just be some water, the shake powder, and maybe a little bit of fruit, especially if you're doing the unflavored dairy-free, right? Mm -hmm. A bit of fruit to blend that up, maybe, I don't know, a bit of flax oil or something you like that. You don't, you're not supposed to eat with your shake? You, you totally can. Okay. You totally can. Yeah, okay. yeah. So there's just so many variables of how you can, well, you can do it, right? Mm -hmm. Some people, like, say this is my experience. I drank my shake and I was full. I was good, but I, you know, I put... I put spinach in it, and I didn't want to eat anything else. But other people, if they're hungry, yeah, you could have some vegetables or have some fruit, you know, that out, okay. and um, and have a shake as well. And you could do a really simple shake, or you could throw all sorts of other stuff in it. So there's a lot of recipes to give you kind of ideas to play around with in the back of the book that you got. Um, I tell people to be really careful with the shake recipes that are here because they do have a ton of fruit in them, like pieces and pieces of fruit, and um, that can sabotage weight loss. Uh, so that's why in your packets I included a recipe that's like a no fruit, oh, excuse me, no fruit uh, shake recipe, and there are a few in here that are lower fruit, or you could use these proportions but really back off on the fruit. Um, especially if you're having two shakes a day, you know, it'd be great to not be doing more than a half a cup of fruit per the whole 
shake um, because it starts to it starts to add up. But yeah, that book's very help. That the booklet is very helpful. And then there is a whole booklet that um, Fab's pulled out, and I will show you guys in a, or a minute, or maybe she'll pass up here. That you can order from Standard Process, or you can download the PDF from the website, and it's got even more recipes in it. So it's called Degree of Change. It's it's really awesome in terms of how it walks you through like what you're looking for in your foods, what your pantry is going to be. So that's the PDF you download. Okay. You can, yeah, this is for free on the Standard Process. You want to buy this book? It's like ten dollars. I think we can order it for you. Um, but yeah, there's your whole purification pantry. You know everything you want to eat, and then it goes. Um, into again even more recipes these are all the shakes and then it goes into all the different meals as well so yeah there's also an app that you can download that will walk you through the 21 days have and, and it? Is it good? I, um, I have personally not used it so I don't know but I, I've gotten going to you're gonna get a day to try it I know I was gonna try it out too um, what, where is the website that you go to? It's just standardprocess.com. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, the app there. thing is right here. On the and then front. the app is on, information is on the front. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you can do very simple shakes, or you can, you can see you can get into all sorts of mixes of different vegetables and different things. I personally can't do any fruit, so for me, I had to really get used to doing green smoothies. I would add my own vanilla. I would add mint or mint extract, and, and that went a long way for me. You can't like do giving, any fruit. I cannot do any fruit. It's too sweet for me. Yeah. So that's you know that's one extreme, but then um, other people who can tolerate it, you know, it's just about doing some. Of, I recommend doing the lower glycemic ones which are like your, your <coughs> berries, and just not doing too much because it builds up. And the last thing I want when you're putting all this work in, and particularly if a goal is weight loss, to have that be compromised. Um, not everyone loses weight doing this program. It, it just depends on what, what your body's working through, right? I have some people who the body's got a lot of digestive repair to do or it's got a lot of liver cleanup to do and it does, um, it's not ready to lose weight and other people it just falls off. <laughs> Don't um, hate that. I hate that. <laughs> I mean, do you mind, Cindy, how no, share your experience? Cindy's Please. experience, so um, uh, she did the purification a couple years ago, maybe lost five pounds. It was right, it gained it right back. <laughs> that's because that's um, the easy part. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That yo-yo thing. Um, yeah. Um, and she's, you know, she's doing it again now. We troubleshoot some things. It's years later. You know, her body's in a different, in a different place too with her health. And this time, the weight loss is really steady, steady, and it's more significant than before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. at 13, and I'm on day 12. Yeah, so. yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think it's just helpful to remember how much other things are happening behind the scenes when you're doing this. That. Um, you know, if the weight loss doesn't happen this time, it doesn't mean it's not doing anything, and it's probably just an indication of how you need to repeat it. I don't think that that's my difference this time. I think the fact that we've been working on my thyroid has been the biggest, biggest difference. Yeah. yeah. No, the folk, the, the, especially, um, yeah, folks have been doing it recently. They, they do fruit every day in their smoothies. How soon back to back can you do them? I mean, do you, you recommend? Well, I'm not saying I would do it. I'm just asking, because I think I never did the 21 day. Kind of responding to, you were asking about other food. I'm like, it wasn't enough for me to want to have a stupid yeah. shake. I want <laughs> food in my face. But I, the problem yeah. is, it isn't the food I want. She wants us to eat all that good stuff, and I didn't want that. <laughs> I mean, I'm just the reality is <laughs> we're, we're going to go yeah. through this this detox, and, and it's not fun. I mean, to be honest, on my side, you yeah. not only did the 10-day. So I'm going to do a 21, and I'm dreading it. My husband didn't even want to see me do it, which <laughs> she's yeah. not letting me until I get a little bit better from this yeah, cold. Yeah, but, but uh, it's yeah. hard to do to not feel like you want to add, but you're only eating vegetables. You can eat all you want of it. Yeah. So I guess if that's what satisfies you. Shakes don't fill me though. Like if I right. tried a protein can, shake. So can you add more than the two? So 
You, have, you, do, you could do you three shakes a day. Blend the full of smoothies. I mean, two scoops. Yeah. Smoothie and a shake. And I drink that. You know, oh, of the protein powder? Quickly. Yeah, if it wasn't enough, but three scoops helped. Yeah, that would be more indicated that you would need to add the collagen or you just need to add some other kind of protein source. Yeah. 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 Some protein powders are just all protein, some are more fiber or not. It might be different with you with, with the added fiber. Um, but yeah, you can, you know, you can, I've had a lot of, you know, people think, oh gosh, you gotta just do all raw, but you can do a lot of soups, you can do cooked food as well as salads. It doesn't have to just be all cold food, you know? And, you know, yeah, you can, you can plate up where, where you like. Right. Um, my husband and I got really into making seed crackers while doing this, and that's why we included the seed cracker recipe, because uh, because seeds are another thing that you can do, and it's a helpful snack. Um, and that really helped with needing something crunchier and a different texture, and they were very easy to make. And so the recipe's in your packets there, too. Yeah, so the idea is, you know, double the amount of vegetables and fruit. You're doing veggies and fruit. You're doing your good healthy fats, right? And so those are listed there for you in your pantry list too. It's your coconut oil, it's your extra virgin olive oil, it's a butter, um, <coughs> uh, sesame oil, ghee, avocado, things like that. You know, they give an and they give an approximation of like how much you should do with that. Um, so there's a no day. protein other than that. What, what for the first eleven days? All right. Mm -hmm. For the first ten days. Yep. Yeah. yeah. There's and decent. Yeah. After that, I tried. And then on day eleven, you add back in, you know, palm size thickness, so about two to four ounces worth of fish, chicken, beef, um, turkey. You don't add in the eggs actually. No, 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 no eggs. It, eggs are out for the whole twenty-one days. Well, I don't know if you can do it. I'm, yeah, yeah. So then do you have to you add that in? If you felt like you couldn't control that right now, no. like if you just felt like after day of 10, I don't know if I can control only that much protein, can you just not add it to it? Can you just stay with the same 10 day? Do 21 days of 10. Yeah. Okay. Oh, totally. Yeah, okay. I think I'm understanding your question. Yeah. You get to day well, you 11 and you're like, I don't really feel like eating meat. Make your whole 21 days the first 10, the same as the first 10. Yeah, that, that was another shocking piece for me this <clears throat> time around. I love my meat usually, right? It was a huge oh. piece of meat yeah. for keeping my blood sugar balanced, right? And yep. if anything, maybe, oh, it doesn't matter. I just, like, it was a big part of my life. I, and then doing this, um, doing this program this time, I got to day 11 and I was like, oh, I could eat some meat. <laughs> I'm not, I don't really care as much. Do I understand this uh, right? You can have um, legumes, mm -hmm. well, lentils, not all legumes. Yeah, lentils. Green beans and peas, and you can have quinoa. That is right? correct. Yeah, really? you can. Yeah, wow. you can. Can we add brown um, rice? Last <laughs> me. I, I thought I was rebellious. <laughs> um, throw yeah, the, throw I've potato not in my had many clients do the whole quinoa piece, but you can. Um, I definitely had to do lentil. You know, I, the first time I did it, I really remember being like, "I'm hungry. I need some lentils." Um, they all have a lot of fiber um, and protein as well. Mm -hmm. So you did it. So you try not to, though, or you try. What you say? You just. Oh, it was just, I was just saying how different it was the first time I did it versus the second time I did it. And the second time I, I didn't feel the need for any of that more, like, heartier stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it, it totally, you still be totally successful doing it, yeah. And you can, um, you can do coconut milk, you can do hemp milk, you can do seeds, you can do all sorts of broths, all different spices. Um, you can do stevia as a sweetener. So, oh, um, no nut milk. Sorry. Exactly. The idea is no nuts for the whole 21 days. Mm. So to get into your no list, you know, you are trying, um, you're drinking lots and lots of water. Um, but otherwise, you know, really working on having no caffeine. So if you're someone who does regular caffeine, you're, it's recommended that you pare it down. Don't go cold turkey. What about decaffeinated? Sorry. You're not recommended to do keep decaffeinated either. No. Yeah. No. Um, no alcohol. Yeah. No. No grains. No sugar. No the eggs, biggest benefit no comes from nuts. doing the 21 straight, though, right? Correct. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've that. got amazing momentum, right? Rick, oh, like, sure, you're like, you say it's 21 days, you know? It's three weeks, and then it's... You're not tougher. You can tell me you did 10. Well, the first week is the hardest, and that's all you've done is that first 10 days. The first 10 days is where you're most likely, especially the first couple, to maybe be tired or maybe have a headache, particularly if you were someone who drank caffeine before. So that can... that, But then... That, go, that passes, and you start feeling good. Yeah, yeah and, and then it's good momentum, you know? And when you come out of it, like, yeah, you're eager probably, most people tell me they're so excited to either eat their eggs again. That's usually the number <laughs> one weird. thing, is they mm -hmm. want their eggs back. Um, but you have this amazing bottom line of, of knowing what, having done this elimination style diet and then being able to add things back in and see how your body responds. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's, it's, that's a cool experience. Too, when you put in I that think, work. in my, for my opinion, I think it'd be hard the first time to do a 21 day. Mm -hmm. I, so if you do, if you are starting a 21 and then you think you just can't, you don't know if you're going to make it. Get to your 10. Right. At least get to the 10 so you can say you did that. Mm -hmm. Right. Because now I'm ready for I'm ready to do 21. Oh. But I'll tell you, the first 10 was tough before. Now it's just I don't know. Maybe it's because I've done it once. Yeah. Yeah. So standard process so, does mark it a 10 day. Yeah. Um, they call it like a 10 J blood sugar balance, and it's basically um, just doing the SP cleanse <coughs> and the shakes for for 10 days, and it is a great way to get started. I did something similar to this many years ago, mm -hmm. and I found that I, I was still hungry, like like you had said, right? Mm -hmm. But with the smoothies, then I would take like a scoop of organic flax and acacia, is it called? Mm -hmm. Put it in there. And I found that that fills you up because it stays in your stomach longer, so you don't feel like eating. And that, that organic might be. Flax yeah, and yeah, it's called a casein. organic fiber, a casein. Yeah, so it's, I mean, else. you've got the whole food fiber. I think, yeah, it really yeah, does I, make yeah, a difference. Yeah, it does. We've prepped some things so we can sample and know a little bit more about what you can eat too. So um, something that can make a really nice snack is because you can do um, unlimited coconut <laughs> on the purification, um, that making up a coconut butter snack. So um, Cindy made these up, it's, it's coconut butter. The recipe is in, again, in your little booklet. And then because you can't make it with nut butter, which I often do, um, she found sprouted pumpkin seed butter at Green Star, mm. which is what made it this amazing green color. <laughs> great, great for Halloween. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so this is a really, you know, it's nutrient dense. You can just eat a little piece and feel like you're having a treat. You know, the coconut butter is quite sweet. Um, and especially if you add vanilla or you added a pinch of stevia too, you can make something that's more desserty. Um, or if you're just sort of like, I'm hungry, what can I, what can I do? I mean, you've done it a lot as like a first thing in the morning while you're getting other things ready to go, right? Or that mid-afternoon. Or that mid-afternoon. You don't eat 12, you only get one or two. No. Exactly. <laughs> true. Yeah. Just clarify. It is true. I mean, these Sorry. are, like, the pumpkin seed butter is listed as one of your fat options. Um, and so it's not something you want to go crazy with and have like tablespoons of. I mean, it's hard to handle that much in one sitting, actually. You know, you make yourself feel sick like overeating it because it's it's high in fat. But um, <laughs> yeah, I would do like you know, I would do a spoonful of the coconut butter or a lot of evenings of like I want a treat. Yeah, yeah, I want a treat. Um, oh, so and there's no ghee in this thing. Um, you could totally do ghee. I thought there was ghee listed under the fats. Yeah, so there it is. All right, okay, yeah. there it is. So you yeah. should have the fats. Absolutely. Yeah, the fats are vital. You can really put it right in your shake. If you're what? You could put, put a the fats right spoon in. of ghee yeah. right in it. Yeah, you I could. You could cook your veggies in yeah. cook your veggies yeah. and butter. Cook them in ghee. Uh, um, okay. Add flax oil to your shake. Yeah, um, make a salad <laughs> and put extra virgin olive oil on it. Um, saute vegetables in coconut oil or yeah those would all be ways to like use your fats and get them in yeah yeah they're really important um, for your nutrient absorption and for uh, balancing of blood sugar as well yeah yeah and then we made the the pumpkin spice uh, protein uh, shake recipe that's in your book as well it's a lot of, uh, <coughs> There's something a little bit off this whole conversation. 
Mm -hmm. I love eggs for breakfast. I'll eat a soft boiled egg. I'll eat a fried egg. I'll so it's on page 47 of your books is this recipe. Yes. What do you guys suggest other than that to eat for breakfast? Like a, a small piece of chicken, a boiled chicken? <laughs> shake. Vegetables. You were listening. Uh, I do a lot of dinner for breakfast. So, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, so, sometimes soups. I eat tomatoes even. I mean, yeah. Tomatoes. Soups for breakfast is a huge favorite of mine. A little bit of meat, your vegetables, broth. Yeah. But you want something awesome. a, little, a little bit heavy to be in your stomach when you go. So a soup, a broth would probably be like nothing. We'll go through and no. you still feel hungry. Well, yeah, but my, <coughs> my soups are hearty soups. I mean, they're, yeah, there's meat. There's lo there are oh, really okay. lots of veggies in there, too. Yeah. Or a chunky soup. The chunky soup. Yeah. But can you eat that on oh, your veggie soup? Okay. Yeah, yeah the, first, the first week it would be a veggie soup. But right. I took um, a lot of vegetables that were asparagus, bok choy, zucchini, and some butter stir fried. That's my favorite. For breakfast. And that's I, make breakfast that a, I make that as my breakfast vegetable. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that's the one I keep it. You got to think outside the box. The Did American, you have the, American to the Western box. Yeah. You have to be re taught. Re mm -hmm. I don't know if this is right, but I like double the shakes or did something. I don't know. So I had jars of them with the caps on in the fridge. So yeah, it's perfect. Just, like, pull it out in the morning. <laughs> Take it with me. That was see. I couldn't do that. She'd tell me I'm going. I, no, so I remember. I remember you telling yeah. me that. Yeah, you yeah, have. I just have to grab it. Yeah, you'd have so you'd make two. two. You make two, and you divide it between jars. So you knew one yeah. was like your breakfast, like and one was your jars, lunch. They were smaller. Yeah, and I would like double the protein in it, and mm -hmm. then I would take that size with me in the car every time I went. And just okay. to suck it down. Because to be honest, I didn't like. I don't. I don't do the fruit either. So I know you had a hard time making them taste good. Yeah. yeah. Two scoops filled you more. You found or you found. The extra part. And yeah. I put I put coconut oil and flaxseed in it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because um, I did the collagen one so that it wasn't flavored. Don't you have to grind flaxseed to get the benefits? Because otherwise it's just fiber. Well, it's Correct. the meal, right? Yeah, okay. the right, you were doing the meal. Yeah. 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 Flaxseed um, oil too, right? Yeah. I think that first that first week I would do a double batch of the smoothie in the blender and then one would become lunch. Half of it would become lunch. So if you finish, you get this amazing shirt. Isn't that fun? 21 day purification program. <laughs> Will it make us look thin? Yeah. Okay. This is a women's medium. I'm discouraged by the size. Yeah. Women's medium, men's medium. Lots of fun. And you get a certificate too. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> Um, let's do some taste like, Please feel free to shout, continue to shout out questions, um, things that I haven't covered. But can you can you do how soon after you've done a 21 day? Can you do another 21 if you wanted to? Yeah. Is there any? Is there an end that you should not continue to do it? If you just wanted to go, oh, this is really going well, and I'm really having fun. Let's go 22 or 40 or whatever. Oh yeah, you can oh. keep extending it out. Okay. What I see though is you stop testing for the products. You know, it's um not usually the shake, not the shake or the fiber, but like the green food. You're off. You know, yeah. Just so that that piece just becomes not cl clinically indicated again. Okay. You know, then you could stop well, it for a while and then you can start it again. For the rest of your life. Yeah, but the smoothies right? piece could just are an ongoing. If, especially if they worked for you, you liked them, or it was it was successful, you can just. And keep going. Sometimes the, the body's purification doesn't fully just do it in 21 days, which is why it's kind of cool with us of being able to test you and follow up on that. So like, um, you know, if you were just <coughs> doing this program, you just get to day 21 and you just stop, right? But, um, yeah, you know, yeah, you're done. It's <laughs> over. Stop that. the, you know, stop the green food. It's done. Um, She's getting it. But like, um, my husband continued to, continued to test for the green food for about another week or so. So, mm -hmm. He so just stayed on it. The testing, because I mean, for those of us that are already here going through this, I'm not sure what additional testing, if any, we're talking about. Just meaning coming in for an appointment and getting tested on the products. Okay. Yeah, what that's all. That's all I mean. Like you know, like coming in, having the you know, um, ha literally days. putting the different protein powders on the body and seeing which ones okay. are the right for you putting, just like I dose your supplements by putting them into the palm of your hand, like yeah. the first week, putting the SP cleanse into your hand, seeing like, which is, this is a pill, you know, so saying that first week, you're supposed to take this from day one through to, um, through to day seven, right, the first week. If you were to do it how standard process recommends, you would take 21 a day for that first week. 
I tend to see people. One a day. Correct. Yes. That's That's ridiculous. Yeah. Um, I have seen one person test for 21, but the majority of people test from anywhere from 9, 11. I thought I was the highest one. No. Mm -hmm. So 17. 17. Oh my god. Yeah. So it literally, yeah, it just means Sheila, you know, Mm. putting it in your hand, just seeing how much you need, so you don't have to guess at it like that. So, and, and then on day eight, coming back in and being like, okay, yes, it's going well or not, let's troubleshoot how it's going, and then switching to the green food and putting that in your hand and seeing how you're doing. So there's there's more involved, I recommend on the first visit, like what, what protein powder should you take and how much SP cleanse, and then on day eight, it's more just how much green food do you need and how's it going overall, do we need to troubleshoot anything else, or are you having any symptoms? I have had some people who the program created major yeast die off. It's incredibly rare, but the yeast die off in the gut. And so, um, you know, we had to do some probiotic handling and mm. some different things like that to, to get her more comfortable again. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, for her, yeah, she was, she was not happy. Mm. But she's the only, only person I've had happen that too. So I was going to propose, you know, if you're interested in doing this, you're eager, you want to get started, I was going to encourage those of you who um, were eager to get started to like communicate with each other because it's always more fun to do it when you know that other people are doing it too. And I was going to say also that I mean, if you're your client here, I can push on your arm tonight if you want and just let you know about what your doses are or what products you should buy and do if you're interested in doing it. Since I just saw you and you didn't know whether you wanted to do it, you know, I'd be happy to do that with you and then I would just want to see you on day mm -hmm. um, eight of it. So just something to think about. I'm happy to do that tonight. Um, let's yeah. pass stuff around. Yeah, yeah. Continue your other supplements too, if you want. Okay. Generally, okay. generally, I, you know how we put everything on your body when you're yes. testing you and just seeing whether you need to take it all. Mm -hmm. um, occasionally, I have the experience where the purification products are sitting on the body. I put the rest of the program on the body, and the body does not want it. Yeah. Um, oh. It's just too much, or it's too much overlap, or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and so, then no, you wouldn't. Mm -hmm. But if the body wants all of it perfectly fine to take all of it, but I do tend to see quite a change in people's baseline programs once they reach 21 days because of this intensive work that you've done, right? It's like you're doing this intensive work so that, um, yeah, big picture, you got in there faster. <laughs> um, uh, okay, yeah. What about, do you have enough energy to exercise and everything while you're doing? Yeah, they recommend light exercise. Yeah, um, some some people, um, especially that first week, are lower energy. And if you're someone who's doing heavier exercise or weightlifting, it's definitely indicated that you should have additional protein. You know, you should do double of um, a protein powder, or you should add in the collagen peptides. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, um, but they definitely recommend yeah walking and, and lighter energy exercise. What are you so, already seeing now? this time around. What do you say, year 11? How far are you? I am day 12. 12? And what, do you, what, what are you seeing differently now? I am actually, and I haven't told Sophie this yet, I'm climbing the stairs at night after the long day and I'm not achy. Nice. So that's so huge aches. piece. Wow. Aches and pains in the knees, basically. Mm -hmm. um, feeling more energetic this time around and um, not feeling the hunger <clears throat> that I felt in the past um, and actually enjoying this one. But I think my smoothies were my biggest thing. We had to change mine up a little bit. I had to do the protein, but and I don't do fruit. And I've done vegetables with my juice. Is what I did different. Yeah. So Cindy's been doing a lot of veggie juicing this around time around, and she's been just she's been adding like a bit of fat and some collagen into her juice and doing that as a shake option, um, and then eating and lots eating of eating lots with of vegetables with that. Was your goal to the eggs? That energy, maybe? My goal yeah. was the detox the piece. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's been a big theme yeah. in her hair. Yeah, okay. lots of toxicity Detoxes. issues. Yeah, mm -hmm. lots of yeah. toxicity Is this like you guys stay near the bathroom for a few mm -hmm. days? Like no, 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 not at all. No. Mm -hmm. Definitely improvement in bowel movements, improvement in regularity. You might see just more volume. <laughs> Things are moving, cleaning yeah. out, but no, no urgency, but definitely it's expected as a normal aspect of it if you do pee a bit more often or you see that you have more bowel movements, right. but not diarrhea, not urgency. Mm. 
Yeah, no, these are good questions. I know it's 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 apprehensive. I overdid the SVP. Like, yeah. I was thinking too much of that at first. I didn't realize. Of the SP cleanse? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This does have, it has, you know, the first ingredient in this is juniper berry powder, and that it really supports the kidney system. So, yeah, so take your doses exactly as recommended. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we're definitely we we're gonna do some taste yeah, testing. Yeah. I, I will yeah. also do some muscle testing if you all want. I want to thank you all so much for coming. Please, it's still totally open if you have questions and things like that. I want to say that um, you know this past month we were celebrating our birthday month. Twelve mm -hmm. years of Nutritional Wellness Center was such a success that it is ongoing. So it's an opportunity to get the initial assessment for twelve dollars and learn about what this is all about. And, um, talk, tell you about that specifically just because you're not a client and um, but please help us spread the word you know our, really our mission is to help as many people as humanly possible I need you as our voice out there to help us do that so thank you and thank you so much for coming and I hope I got you excited about this rather oh, than daunted <laughs>